Sevastus Acheron. Sevastus Acheron is the current captain of the Ultramarine's second company and master of the watch. Acheron originally served under the command of the second company's longtime commander, Cato Sicarius. But Sicarius was lost in the warp with the birth of the Great Rift while returning to Macrag from Terra with Fleet Avenger. Sicarius had accompanied Robout Gilliman to see the Emperor during the Terran Crusade and was now returning with the gift of the first Primaris Space Marines to the Ultramarines. With Sicarius missing, Acheron was assigned to serve as his replacement. History. Nemengast Raid. In his new position, Acheron's first major operation was to lead a force of Vanguard Space Marines drawn from the second company designated Strike Force Shadowspear in a reconnaissance in force to the industrial world of Nemengast in the Vigilus system. Nemengast was a crucial supplier of war material to its neighboring world of Vigilus, which had come under assault by Xenos and Chaos forces early in the era Indomitus during the conflict remembered as the War of Beasts. Chapter Master Manius Calga and the Ultramarines were now leading the defense of Vigilus, and Calga dispatched Strike Force Shadowspear aboard the Strike Cruiser Carpatia to investigate the curious silence of Nemengast. Upon arriving at Nemengast, Augur scans revealed that the planet's industry was not only intact but now producing demon engines and possessed Chaos Space Marines at a rapid rate. It soon became apparent that the world had fallen to the control of the Black Legion in preparation for Abaddon the Despoiler's coming assault on Vigilus itself. Knowing that the orbiting Black Legion warships would soon detect the Carpatia, Acheron ordered an immediate drop pod assault onto the planet's surface. Upon seeing the chaos forces that had now claimed the world, Acheron knew that Nemengast could not be liberated with the forces he had on hand and instead he sought to foil the Black Legion's plans by destroying its demonic forges. Though vastly outnumbered by the heretic Astartes forces, Acheron refused to withdraw and targeted the forge and furnace of Gulbrecht Hive. With the aid of the librarian Malta's psychic abilities, the Vanguard Marines were able to infiltrate the heart of Forge and Furnace, bypassing the various Black Legion patrols. Acheron then split his forces into multiple small, fast-moving detachments, assigning them to missions of sabotage and assassination. He prioritized the destruction of not only the infernal machinery used to draw on the power of the warp, but also the assassination of the warpsmiths who maintained and operated it. Explosions soon rippled throughout the forge and furnace before the chaos forces even knew they were under assault. Desperately holding back the maddening tide of the warp, Maltese realized that if the eight pillars of binding above Forge and Furnace's central spire used to draw demons down into the Hell Forge could be destroyed, it would create a chain reaction that could bring down the entire complex. Lieutenant Ullius was given the task of drawing out the Black Legion defenders while a Cheren saw to the destruction of the binding pillars. Alias led squads of Vanguard infiltrators into overlapping firing positions against Chaos Space Marine and Demon Engine detachments that poured in to assail the Loyalist attackers. Alias and his warriors fought to the last, until a swarm of Venom Crawlers swept up from underneath to tear them limb from limb. However this act of sacrifice brought a Cheren the necessary time to launch separate attacks against each binding pillar. Each pillar was guarded by a pair of obliterators, which Acheron counted with his vanguard suppressors. With the cover provided by the suppressors' fire, Acheron led his vanguard infiltrators forward, pushing past the Chaos defenders and setting the charges on each pillar. The Black Legion forces on Nemengast were commanded by the master of possession Varash Selflayer, who at first suspected that a rival warband of heretic Astartes had launched a raid on his world. However when the truth became clear, he personally led a vicious counterattack. 
the assault was led by hulking greater possessed and venom crawlers that tore through the ranks of the lightly armored infiltrators. In orbit, the Carpatia revealed that a Chaos fleet had detected the Loyalist Strike Force's presence and was converging on the Ultramarine's position. This force consisted of not only Black Legion heretic Astartes, but also allied Chaos Space Marines from the Crimson Slaughter Warband. Knowing that his force's survival was likely now impossible in the face of such odds, Acheron decided to make a final defensive stand and sell his and his marines' lives dearly. But first he ordered Maltes to escape aboard the Carpatia and return to Vigilus to reveal to Calga that Abaddon's invasion of Vigilus was imminent. Maltes successfully made his escape just as Acheron was able to destroy the last pillar, and the entire forge and furnace collapsed upon both the heretics and the remaining loyalist Astartes. Plague Wars. Captain Acheron survived the action on Nemengast and the War of Beasts to later take part in the defense of the realm of Ultramar from the forces of the plague god Nurgle during the Plague Wars. Acheron led the Second Company to many victories over the Chaos forces assaulting Ultramar in the years before Robout Gilliman returned home to Macrag following the end of the Indomitus Crusade. But when Gilliman returned, he brought with him Cato Sicarius, who had survived his sojourn in the warp and had been named as the commander of the Primarch's Victrix Guard. It is unclear whether Acheron will continue to serve as the commander of the Second Company or whether Sicarius will be restored to his old position.